so long because I feel like it's kind of out of place in most role plays. But this isn't a role play. This is gonna be for me. No, wait. I'm allowed here and you're allowed here if you're autistic. Are you autistic? If not, get out of here. And I'm just kidding. You can stay too. Um, I just thought the title would be funny if I named it that. I still think it's really funny how many videos there are that's like ASMR for autistic people or ASMR for ADHD people or ASMR for OCD people. And it's like, there's nothing really special about it and sometimes they even just feel very infantilizing but this is for this is a community where you will not be infantilized and you will be treated like a normal human being because that's who you are well you're not normal but you know what i mean um and yeah i'm autistic by the way and yeah i want to talk about some fun autistic things that have been happening in my life while i have pumpkin kitty this is my pumpkin kitty who I might love and adore and I really want another pumpkin kitty and do you know what I want more than anything in this entire world? Giant pumpkin kitty. Why am I not rich? Okay, rich people are wasting their money. I, I would not. Okay, I'd be buying a giant pumpkin kitty and a little mini pumpkin kitty too. I haven't been able to buy either and it's so sad because all I want in this entire world is a pumpkin kitty family. I also really want a pumpkin kitty who has an eye patch, like a pumpkin on their eye, because they all have different patterns if you don't know. Um, this is a vault, so it's not the originals from last year. I didn't even think they were going to bring back pumpkin kitty this year, but then they did, and I'm so happy, because I don't believe in FOMO. I don't believe in, like, Fortnite's, you know, marketing thing. Why do we need to create unnecessary, um, like a, a feeling of scarcity for like a cat that has pumpkins on it, you know? But it's, look, look, have you seen Pumpkin Kitty even come on? I do wish that Pumpkin Kitty sat like how, um, they do in the promo pictures. Some people actually mod their Pumpkin Kitty. I've seen people like mod it so their head is like <laughs> lifted up. And I've seen people mod it so their arms go down, which I think is really cute. I'd be too scared to do that because this is the most precious thing in the entire- And it's like, I also kind of like it because like it's a great like cuddle. The tail is kind of annoying, but like you just put your arm right there. It's like perfect. Yeah, that's Pumpkin Kitty. I wish I had so many of the Build-A-Bear stuff. I wish I had the Lord of the Rings collection, specifically the Gollum and the Frodo suit. Oh my god, I saw this picture of the bear, and I guess the, the fur got, like, caught behind the eyes, and it made, like, the Lord of the Rings bear, like, have their eyes really- Oh, it was terrifying. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I had the Frodo costume, and the Gandalf costume, and Gollum. That's what I would like most of all, but to have Gimli and Legolas would be really cool as well. And I really want the Loch Ness Monster, specifically the little one, because I think that one's really cute, and the Highland Cow. And I really wanted the opossum, but I think that last time I checked, it was either out of stock or just, like, gone. So, hopefully they restock the opossum, because I really loved the other one. And, also, this is not really autism, but I wanted to show you. This is, for my, I literally just filmed a video, and I don't know if you've ever seen those videos where that guy is, like, tapping the house for, like, rotted wood. Well, I wanted to do that, my own little version, because because I like those videos and I thought it'd be funny and I like camera tapping, I think it's cool anyway, so I made one and I had to like take notes because I thought that I like writing on paper and I thought it might be kind of cool so this is my note taking skills this is what it looks like I try to like actually write words if I can because I think it sounds better if it's more intentional but that's my opinion anyways and yeah, what else have I been doing? I've been playing a lot of Phasmophobia, which I really love because it's a great game for people like me. I'm like a sp there's different brands of special interests, I think. Some of them it's like you want to do the thing, some of them you just want to like collect the thing or look at the thing. For me, I love, 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 love learning. I love learning about like code. I love learning, like, I don't know anything about code, but I really like learning about like the intricate details of like what makes the game function 
and Faz is pretty good because that's kind of what the game is all about. Like, if you get into the higher difficulties, you have to understand the ghosts and how they behave, and I think that that's really interesting, and so I really like playing Phasmophobia. I've been playing a lot with Mel. Also, if you hear dogs barking, oh my gosh, I just recently got new neighbors, and for all my strong sense of justice, autistic people, one thing I hate is that when I see people who, like, I really hope you can't hear that in the background, that is so loud, but there is, like, a specific brand of people where they get a dog, and then they get another dog, and then they get another dog, and it's, like, slow down, you know? I mean, you've barely had the one, but it kind of just feels like, like, cause I can see them in their backyard all day. I'm not saying I'm judging, by the way. I guess I am kind of judging. But do you know what I mean? It's just, it's weird when people treat animals like accessories. And they just let them bark all day long outside. And it's like, um, you know, maybe if you only had the one, then it would be easier on you. I'm not exactly sure why you got three right after moving into a new house in the span of like, you know, a few months. And maybe it's like, like my own trauma coming up of like having relatives who were like, they would clearly get dogs as an accessory and they'd like move a house and then once they move houses it's like they like leave their dog behind or they just like let the dog run away like i've known people like that in real life i don't know it's really really sad i just i hate that whole like aspect and i also just think it's kind of disrespectful to other people having your dogs bark all day long and it's still barking it's just like i'm obviously like I have a very specific career choice, but like, people work from home, people have babies, all sorts of reasons why you shouldn't do it, but it just seems like weirdly normalized. This is not very relaxing, but strong sense of justice does kind of come with the territory, and I think it's a blessing and a curse, um, because sometimes I think I needlessly care too much about things that might not involve me, you know? But I also think that it allows me to be a decent human being, which is funnily, seemingly hard for a lot of people. Anyways, it's kind of one of those topics that I don't feel like we'll talk about that much. Because it's not one of those parts of the autism, like, of the autism, that people can treat, you know, very babyish. Like, when you see a grown adult rambling about how much they like a pumpkin kitty so much easier to like look at that and think of it differently it's kind of like how a lot of the autistic representation that we have is just like young sheldon <laughs> like just like some young white boy you know and they like trains and they're super smart but it's like so much more complex than that and i don't know i think that's probably why like almost I, all of my friends are autistic every person i've ever really gotten close with is i just think that there's like something so inherently different that it's and most of the time it's because like of communication issues this is this has turned less into like let me share autistic joy and like more like um i don't know i guess relatability maybe but like i don't know it's hard communicating with neurotypicals even sometimes people who behave like they have similar traits of autism or i'm like maybe they could be you know just based on like the things that they like and the way that they act but there's just like a lack of communication there and there's so many things that confuse me like like when people like say that they want to hang out with you but then they never ask to hang out with you that's always confused me I never quite understand, but then you find out, like, that they didn't actually want to hang out with you. It's just like, why are we doing this? And I'll watch TV shows, like, I actually just finished watching Friends, and TV shows is really how I learned to communicate and talk, and let me tell you, um, there's just so many, like, times in that show where I think there was one episode where Chandler, like, kept being like, yeah, let's go on another date, and it was, like, to Rachel's boss, but, like, he didn't actually mean it, he didn't like her, but he kept saying it, and it's just like, I, I would have taken that at face 
face value and why aren't people just honest anyways i hope that this is like not just coming off as like down in the dump so i'm hoping it'll come off as like we're all in this together you know like you're not alone okay you're not alone i think one of the greatest parts about a diagnosis or like self-diagnosis too this is why i think self-diagnosis is so important there's two real reasons one is that you can figure out ways to manage your symptoms better if i didn't know i had autism then i wouldn't have been able to figure out about autistic burnout or sensory overload even all of those things and the ways to manage it and i probably would have felt silly because a lot of the times it's very simple like in day-to-day -day life not like the big ones but day-to-day -day life it's like using like a squishy toy stuff like that that can really calm down my nerves but i would have felt like a little weirdo but that's how you can help yourself you know and it's important to like know those tips and those tricks and to hear from other autistic experiences anyways and the other reason is community community is so important especially because if you are autistic or neurotypical i mean neurodivergent you have felt like an outcast maybe for your entire life or you have felt like there's something different like there's something inherently different about you and you never knew what and for a long time this is at least my experience and like a lot of people that i know's experience it just sort of feels like you're like an alien or like everybody else is like a different species it's very weird so community i think is so important and talking about our issues and yammering on this is very rambly but <laughs> yeah that's that's how i feel about it and i recently got a job and getting a job is so so hard and i think the part about it is like even after i'm done my my day at work i'm exhausted you know and i'm dealing with in like a customer service -y type environment and honestly my dream job right now like like dream minimum wage job is to um work like a night shift somewhere I don't really have to chat with people i don't know like i like customers actually surprisingly but the mean ones they're so mean and they get mad because they think that you like the lowest level employee is the one that's making their life a horrid mess when really it's like the person who's making 10 billion dollars and then they yell at you to take out their anger and it's like, oh, that's not very nice. But anyways, that's how I feel. They came out with new Littlest Pet Shops. And it's a whole drama. It's a drama fest, even. People are saying they're squishy. The heads are squishy like a bath toy. People are really upset about that. Honestly, fair enough. Because even like the tiny things, like the fact that the old LPS had magnets, it is that's a cool addition. I don't know if they're like, like I don't want to blame or get mad at the company before I fully know their intentions but I don't know if like they're wanting to just make a little bit of money use like a basic play fun basic fun line or whatever and then make some money and then release something really cool but it kind of just seems like a cash crop and that's just what it is nowadays like it is no longer about making the best product it is about brand recognizability <laughs> and just pumping out stuff really so that's unfortunate but oh my god you know what i've been really loving cheese i think it's cool i mean there's so many ways that you can use cheese on crackers melted and there's so many types i mean you got feta mozzarella you got your classic cheddar i don't like what is it called? Rosetto? No, wait, that's the little mole guy from Animal Crossing, right? Um, Rossetti, is that his name? But I'm, what's that one? I think it's in lasagna. I always hated that one, but I haven't tried it in an adult. Cottage cheese, which has an ungodly amount of protein in it. Who even gave cottage cheese the right? Cream cheese. Sour cream. Wait, that's cream. That's not cheese. Anyways, very versatile. Like, if cheese was on drag rice, you would refer to it as versatile for sure and like outstanding in all its categories too which is 
pretty incredible. I've also been trying to journal more, which is really difficult because my hand cramps up and my brain goes so fast, my hand can't keep up. And then I like stiffen it and it like doesn't go well. I've also been drawing. Yeah, last night I finished drawing the sticker for this month's sticker club. If you want to join, go to my Ko-Fi, go to the monthly tabs. If you want a sticker, you have to be in Caterpillar or higher. And if you want a postcard, you have to be in, I think it's Moth Town Citizen, so on. And I gotta make, it, oh yeah, I made the postcard. It, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to get those printed and put them up my shop. You can check out my shop if you want. I, I like to put a lot of things I like in it, obviously, but like Kirby. I was really obsessed with Kirby for a while. I didn't even play any of the games. I just drew a lot of Kirby. And I, I still really like Kirby, but I haven't been drawing as much. I think mostly because nobody likes Kirby. What the heck? Nobody wants to buy my Kirby stickers. And I have some pretty cool ones. What about snacks? What have I been eating? I have been drinking a lot of tea, but I always drink tea. Sort of an obsession. Specifically chai. I really like chai and I like honey in it and creamer. And what else do I like for snacks? I like chips, but everyone likes chips. I ate ketchup chips the other day. Ketchup chips are so good. Munchies. Have you ever had a sun chip? before I need to like grab your face. Sun chips are the best chip on this planet. If you haven't had them, you should. I also bought um, Reese's Pieces covered in caramel and those were really good. And yeah, foods are fun. Foods is fun because at any moment in time, my brain can just go, actually, I hate that. And if I eat it, I'm going to die. Um, which isn't good because you need to eat, but, and it's like, especially if it's like a safe food, like for, for like four years, my safe food was stir fry. All I ate was stir fry, mostly honey garlic stir fry. Actually stir fry is starting to sound good again, but for like two years, I, I couldn't even think about it. The idea of stir fry made me feel like sick and rice because I ate so much rice with my stir fry. It was crazy. I really want butter chicken. Oh, I love butter chicken. I make it with tofu, of course, but still, butter chicken is really good. And, um, oh, breakfast sandwiches. I used to eat a breakfast sandwich every single day, but I don't do that much anymore. And what else did I really like? I don't know. I drink a lot of Coke Zero, but right now I'm drinking Pepsi Zero because my boyfriend likes Pepsi better than Coke. Apparently, Everyone loves to talk about how the the zero pop is like just as bad and you shouldn't drink anything. Where's the fun? If I don't get a little bit of carbonated water, okay, with a little flavor in it, like that's 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 the fun in my life, okay? <laughs> Man, I can ramble a lot. I'm a very good rambler. Anything else? I, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but then I completely Those are just some autistic things that are going on, I guess. Safe food, special interests. Right now, right now, I don't know if phasmophobia is going to be a special interest because it hasn't been that long since I started liking it. And you have to like a special interest for, I think it's like a year or longer. And yeah, I'm also really excited for the Stardew Valley Expanded 1.15, was it? The newest one. I want to play it so I've been avoiding playing Stardew Valley until I can have all my mods. Realistically, I should have just tried it, like vanilla, but the newest update, but I'm really scared to. I'm, I'm scared because I hate change. <laughs> That's another thing. Fortnite. Oh my gosh, because it changed, I'm all over the place and I don't know how to do things good. Anyways, I should probably end this video before I make it like 10,000 years long. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you related to anything. Let me, like, rant about your special interests. Like, rant about it. Talk about everything you want to talk about. I would love to hear about it. Tell me how much you love the most random niche thing in the entire world. Um, anything that I talked about. I love, love, love to read comments. And 
this whole video came off as like relatable like like maybe we're like having like a sleepover or like a late night talk and we're just chatting about things um and also let me know what you think of the background of this video because i had somebody before my videos were like the last video that i posted was like this and somebody said that it was creepy and they were waiting for something to pop out of the closet and so is this better we've got a lamp The Steal This Album. This is weirdly iconic on my channel. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought. Let me know how your day is going. And 